There's nothing better than this. Sunrise over the desert. And no better time to arrive than bright and early. Get ready. The Mid-Century Marvel starts just after you enter town. The first landmark is the incredible geometry of the Palm Springs Visitor Center. It began life in 1965 as an ENCO gas station designed by the great architect Albert Frey. That's where I'm meeting Courtney Newman, president of the Palm Springs Modernism Committee. How are you? You're picking me up in this? I am. Oh, wow. He shows up in pure vintage style. Oh my gosh. You have a James Bond phone. I do. Only you would have a James Bond phone. <laughs> I want to know, where do you show people when they come into Palm Springs? I'll take you for a drive and we'll see some architecture and see what makes Palm Springs Palm Springs. OK. You are Mr. Palm Springs. Thank you. Courtney's car is a classic, a 1968 Cadillac Eldorado ragtop, because Palm Springs. We take a short drive heading straight to my idea of heaven. Coming up on the right, this is the Kaufman House. Richard Neutra's desert masterpiece is considered the crown jewel here. The Kaufman House was built in 1947. It's amazing that you can see one of the most famous houses in the world basically just driving up the road here. Anybody can drive by the Kaufman House and Absolutely. see this beautiful yeah. view. That even from the street, you can see the architecture of the house. And that's the way of Palm Springs. You can drive all over and see some just really amazing things just on your own. The neighborhoods of Las Palmas and Vista Las Palmas are some of my favorites. When you pull up one of these beautiful vintage cars to a carport of a beautiful mid-century modern house, where it's not locked away in a garage, it's exposed there. Every corner you turn is a photo op. Drive by viewing, I love it. They look like movie sets and this is how people live. Yeah. This is another one of my favorite houses up yeah, here. Yeah, I love this house. I love yeah. this house. I love the lamp in that and the, oh, that architecture yeah. is incredible. Orange yeah. doors, powder blue doors. I have to say this is probably one of my top three houses when you see inside oh. in the whole desert. It's kind of like a contest almost. Not that they're one-upping each other, but you have to keep up with the Joneses in a style way, not a monetary way. Gosh, who lives here? I would love to know. know. I want to be their best friend. Yeah, those doors Look are- Look at those. Those doors are like the first to up oh, in Little Tuscan. Yeah. Those are exquisite. The Palm Springs Modernism Committee sells a phone app that provides a great self-guided tour. Create your own custom tour of your favorites. Our next stop comes directly from the app, Frank Sinatra's Desert Hideaway. The stuff of Rat Pack legend, Twin Palms. So where's my martini? Your martini is coming. <laughs> The Palm Springs Preservation Foundation's Ron Marshall took over as our guide. So I have to say, sitting here in Frank's living room, mm -hmm. I can't get my eyes off that stereo. Yep, it's pretty gorgeous. It's uh, cosmetically perfect. We've never seen it work. Can I get up and Please. see this? I mean, this is this is this is unbelievable. So this was probably where, if he was inspired and he wanted to lay something down, exactly. he could record here exactly. and have it on acetate, probably. Yes. Can I see the bedroom? Sure. Would you like to see the master? I mean the master bedroom. The house has style. Designed by architect E. Stuart Williams in 1947, it still features those famous twin palms. It was E. Stuart Williams' first residential commission, and he spared no expense, first of all, because this house at the time cost Frank $153,000 in 1948 dollars. So that was a pretty magnificent sum. East Fort Williams wanted to make sure that he got this house right, and he did. Now, I do know that Frank Sinatra's favorite color was orange. That's true. So here is the orange bed and bedding. Oh, my god. I think god. he's quoted as saying, orange is the happiest color. So what I love about this pool shape is it's unusual. Yes. So it does almost look like a piano. And then this canopy, what do you call this? This is called a pergola, mm -hmm. and it's very dramatic. If walls could talk, no doubt there would be plenty to tell. The setting is Palm Springs. Sinatra loved the Palm Springs life. He spent five years in this home. There were highs and lows, including his marriage to Ava Gardner. The master bath still shows damage from a champagne bottle allegedly thrown in anger. And oh. there's your famous crack. I'm really surprised he never fixed that, because that's a reminder. The best part? The Sinatra home can be rented for weddings, parties, or an overnight splurge in the desert. One of the many stories is that there was a flagpole over somewhere in that area when he was in town. He'd hike his little flag up, supposedly a Jack Daniels flag, to let his friends over in the movie colony know that he was in town <laughs> and ready to drink. 
they used to have parties with Sinatra and everybody in Palm Springs would come to their house. No day in Palm Springs would be complete without a stop at one of the many vintage stores in town. Modern Way is where we found our guide and his 68 El Dorado. I have never seen a dining table these colors before. Yeah, it's, it's Arthur Elrod. He was like the man out here. Courtney and his wife own this store. They feature a unique collection of authentic mid-century items. Only you would have a rotary phone, well, by the way. it's not just only a rotary phone. It's Dean Martin's rotary phone. And he's my idol, so it's really not for sale. Can I get Frank Sinatra on the phone? Uh, maybe. <laughs> it's always 5 o'clock somewhere in Palm Springs, and for me, that means the Orbit Inn. Owner Kevin Miller serves up a perfect Orbit Eni. Cheers. Ah, cheers. The Orbit Inn is one of the true originals in town, and I'm crazy about the 50s-era gift shop complete with an old-school record collection. This boutique hotel looks nearly the same as it did back in 1957, when it was called the Village Manor. So this is original, uh -huh. this is original, and the trees are original. Yeah. <laughs> the double soffits and stacked sandstone are trademarks of Palm Springs designer Herbert Burns. It's a 1950s kind of time capsule, it really. Is. It is. You know, there's a lot of original features here. Down the street, you can visit his town and desert apartments, which restored look pretty much like they did in 1947 when these photos were taken. An overnight stay at the Orbit Inn is reasonable, but book in advance, their guests are regulars who keep coming back. It all adds up to the perfect setting for a perfect time in Palm Springs, all captured so nicely by Ken in a glass of cranberry juice, orange juice, and sake. Tradition, every evening at five. I love my Orbitini. So drink up, I yeah. love it. Cheers. Great. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome, anytime.